What is good, YouTube DM Gaming here, guys, for another banger for the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot community, guys. I just want to start this video off by saying thank you. The channel has just passed over 1 million total views. That is awesome. I'm extremely filled with gratitude. The journey has been a journey. So pat you guys, pat yourselves on the back. Thank y'all very much for the support on the channel. Guys, got a good one today. But first, guys, y'all got to check out Eniba. Guys, they're an online marketplace for games. They also have PlayStation Plus, which is on sale for 38 bucks. Regular price, 60 So that next Xbox Live as well. Don't forget to use promo code DMGAMING for that extra off. That link is in the description. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this footage is going to come from Wolf Bandit's channel. You can find him on YouTube, Wolf Bandit. Guys, cutscenes. Cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. When I watch cutscenes in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I see opportunity. I see room for immersion. And I was really, really under the impression that they would incorporate quick time events in their cutscenes. They did, CyberConnect 2 has done a phenomenal job with that in the Asura's Wrath series, as well as throughout the Naruto series. So today, that's what I want to discuss, and that's what I want to show. I'm going to show you the difference, okay? Uh, matter of fact, let's... Okay, so yeah, let's, let's just look at this. Look at the differences here. Um, because guys, it's relevant. I mean, you, you know, watching these cutscenes, and this is what I was afraid of in the game. I didn't want to just be sitting there watching cutscenes. I really wanted to be engaged in them, be involved in them. And the opportunity is definitely there. And I don't know if it'll be like that in the final build, but as far as what we've seen so far, there are no quick time events in a lot of in in the cutscenes that we've seen. And you would really think they would have implemented some of those, but they haven't. So, uh, yeah. See, like right here, that would be really cool for a cut, uh, quick time event. You know, and this is just, that would be good for a quick time event. You know, and this is just a compilation. He has a compilation of the, uh, this definitely would be like, dude. Implement quick time. Now, guys, the game could come out and we could have quick time events in that. I don't know. Just hadn't seen them in the gameplay, hadn't seen them in the demos, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. I just don't think that they are. Like, that would be a perfect point for a cutscene, for a um, quick time event. Especially on a beam clash like that, dude. Like, just to make you feel like you're a part of it, you know? Because the game already does that so well. Makes you feel like you're living the anime. I just felt like they could have took it a step further and implemented quick time events in scenes just like this to make you feel like you're a part of it. And I know people will say, well, what if you lose it? Well, I mean, if you lose the fight, same thing. I mean, same thing happened in Naruto. So. See, like that would be so cool for a quick time event. Now, let's hop over to Naruto Uzumaki. And let's play this. This is coming from uh, Shakaya's Cloud. That's his channel or her channel. Check it out. But let's play. Quick time event. And see, I can get why they may not want to implement uh, quick time events because it, it slows down the cinematic. But, oh, my gosh, look at Cyber Connect 2, dude. It, it does slow down the cinematics. In a way. In a way, because that wasn't slow. But, oh, man, look at that, dude. Oh, man. Oh, dude, 
Skyrim Connect 2. What it do? This is what we got to look forward to, y'all. Even though we've seen a lot of it. But I mean, look at the look at the it doesn't interfere with the cinematic, and it still makes you on edge for the game. It still makes you sit there and pay attention to what's going on. And it makes you feel like you're a part of it. Like you're controlling it. You're assisting it. Cyber Connect 2, if you have not put quick time events in the game, we need it. We need it, baby. And then you get star rankings for it. And guys, it would be really cool to get that because it could also give you bonus experience and stuff like that. They can even implement a reward system depending on how well you do in the quick time event. They give you extra experience or a D medal or any kind of reward in the game. Like, I think everybody would like. If you would like quick time events in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and in the cutscenes, comment down below. Matter of fact, smash the like button if you would like to have those quick time events in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm gonna pause it right there. It's getting epic. Let's watch another. Let's watch another opportunity from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Okay. Let's see. Let's find another cutscene here. He's transforming. Charging my attack. Yeah. Right here. Spirit bomb, baby. Let's get some spirit bomb action in here. This is perfect for a quick time event. Because if you miss the button press, then what's going to happen is you drop the spirit bomb. Also, we think of other scenes. Whenever Goku throws the uh, the Patara earring to, to Vegeta in the anime, we know it's going to be in the game. Quick time event. Gohan vs. Cell. Kamehameha. Quick time event. Like, that's a perfect spot for it, man. What is this? Ah, uh, he didn't do it, man. Okay, I just, I wasn't there yet. Right here. Bam. Right here, man. Quick time event. Quick time event. Like, that's a perfect spot for it. Look at that. Quick time event. Look at that. Quick time event. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> like, dude. Don't make me edit a video and put some quick time events in there. Because I will learn to do it and do it. Just to show you what it looked like. That would be perfect. Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, look at that! Look at that animation, dude. Cyber Connect too, boy. Pat yourself on the back, bro. Let's go back to some Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. Quick time event, dog. Look at the stars. They maxing them out. They doing it big, dude. I mean, are y'all seeing my point? Like the game has the potential um, for quick time events. Like it would be great to throw them in there. I would like them. I would love them. I would definitely love them. Mm, 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 mm. Dude, I mean, see that? That way you're not just sitting here because some of those cutscenes are pretty lengthy in Kakarot. So just sitting there watching it, it's great. You get that nostalgia factor. But when you implement cutscenes, it gives you a bit of immersion. You feel included. Look at that. I want to be a part of that. I'm mashing the circle button, dog. I'm mashing it. I'm mashing it. Come on, man. Oh, dude. That game is so beautiful. Asura's Wrath was the same way. They was the same way, man. Matter of fact, let's go look up some Asura's. Let's look up some Asura's Wrath quick time events. This is M4. I'm trying to get the channel name. M4 M4 Movesets channel that we're looking at here. We're gonna skip that ad. Let's look at this is a serious rad quick time events. Just to just to get a a glimpse of it like they had a bunch of them in the series rafts look at that and it's real quick and this is in the middle of the fight this is in the middle of gameplay like this isn't so much a cutscene type of thing they do have the cutscene ones in there as well but these are the counter finishers quick time events so this is even a way that they can implement them into the fights themselves because 
remember in some of the old Budokai games, you had quick time events that were in the actual fight. So this is just another example of how they could implement them. Which in the fights we do because they have the follow up. Whenever Goku knocks somebody back, that circle button comes up. So we have them in the fights for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We don't have them in the cutscenes. We want them in the cutscenes. That's where we want them. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Back again. DM's back. So what I want to check out next um, is the new screenshots. The new screenshots for Dragon Ball Z Kakarotu. And uh, try to see what's going on with those. If my computer would go a little bit faster, that would be that would be nice. That would be nice. But I mean, do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, dude, that would be so dope, man. Implement that into the game. A lot of people would be happy. This is my problem. Okay, we're gonna go to PS360 HD's channel here. Because he does good work. Okay, so first off, this dinosaur. The dinosaur is dead. Okay. So whenever we saw the dinosaur in the other playthrough, he was already dead. That's that's dope. But that's a dope Gohan for anybody that's wondering. I don't think anybody was wondering. I don't think anybody cared. Android 18 with her um, slap attack where she flies in and smacks the opponent away from you. That is her one of her support moves. And I know y'all see Krillin there and y'all like, oh my gosh, 18 is going to be playable. No, she's not. Krillin and 18 are support characters. Which is interesting because, yeah, you know. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Why is it not playing? There we go. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's go to the Trunks doing their um, epic combo attack. Yes, go to the Trunks support characters will have like a combo assist. Gohan and little brother in there chopping them up. And that kind of looks like a Saiyan, doesn't it? That looks like a saying, but it's not. It's one of Frieza's henchmen. And then that's uh, that's actually Goku. It looks like, at first I thought it was Gohan, but I was like, no, nah, the hair is too long. That's Goku. And that's 18, knocking back one of Frieza's henchmen. See, it looks like a saying. It looks like a creative character from Xenoverse, doesn't it? But it's not. Goten with the flying head, but I wonder if he has the Kameha Kame. Kame Kameha. Trunks with his uh, finish buster. Assist. That looks really good. I mean, it, this looks really, really good. Look at this. Look how big that is, too, dude. And, and the color is. Just, oh my gosh, dude. I don't really talk about how the game looks as much, but dude, the game looks really dope. Let's try to see where they were at. They were going. That's probably that surge attack where all three of them, or you and your support character, do a combined attack. Okay, see, so at first, this one, I thought that was like a four way Kamehameha. Like, one coming from here, one coming from here, but it's not. They're actually crossing. And then we get to see one of the uh, powerful versions of Frieza, which is cool. Can't wait to see that fight, man. How strong are they going to be? And then we see three of them. Looking like they're getting ready for a combined attack, dude. Y'all, I cannot wait for this game, dude. I cannot wait for it. I'm so excited. Are you excited? If you're excited, hit the like button. A lot of likes. I want to see how many likes we can get in a video one day. I think the most we've had was like 100 something. You know, it'd be cool if we can get like a thousand likes. That'd be dope. But that's it, man. That's it for that. But guys, like I said, on the um for those, I mean, quick time events. Gotta be in the game. Cyber Connect 2. Please tell me y'all holding back on us. And when we get the final bit of the game, we got quick time events in there. That would be a very, very cool surprise. And I think a lot of people would be stoked about that. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.